What's up guys, YGO Strats coming at you with an Ultimaya to Zulkin profile. Super pumped for this, I got the card back in like September, October, whenever it was released in the Shonen Jump. And I only just got my hands on a second copy of it because I can't tell you why, I only just did. My locals finally got it in and I was too lazy to buy it online. Mostly because Canadian conversion rates, everything is like $20 more expensive, I absolutely fucking hate it. But I got to Zulkin, two copies of it, so let's get right into the profile. Uh, it is a heretic one if it isn't clear, but I am running one copy of BLS, mostly because it's BLS and it's BLS, so I can run it because I run light and dark. Uh, triple heretic dragon of Sue. Um, what's there to say? It's level 6 and it works great in this deck. The main aspect of it is that it is level 6, and when you tribute a different heretic for it, you will be able to special summon a normal dragon from the deck. Um, that is the effect of each heretic, is that when they are tributed, you can special summon one dragon-type normal monster from your deck, hand, or graveyard, but make its attack and defense zero. That doesn't matter, because it's just instantly synced into Zulkin. So he's the main level 6 that does it. Uh, the big play that's ideal is you start with Heretic Dragon of Tefnuit and Sue, and they have a monster on board. So Tefnuit is honestly just Cyber Dragon, you special summon it when they have another monster on their board. Tribute it for Sue. Heretics are... Tefnuit's effect will activate and you special summon uh, Labradite from your deck and then sync up into Tzolkin, that's the big play. Um, yeah, he's just Cyber Dragon, that's all he is. We're also running three of a set. Um, a set, you can tribute it, uh, Tefnuit again uh, to summon this guy, then you special summon a level 6 dragon from your deck, obviously. And then what you can do here is his effect says that you can target one normal monster normal dragon type monster on the field and all heretics get that level so even though he's level 5 you pull a labradite level 6 he becomes level 6 and boom Zulkin. Uh, I am running two copies of Caius I'm probably going to bump this to three because Caius is just so great um, targeting scales targeting monsters whatever you know he's like the OG cowboy almost if they've got a thousand life points left you can tribute summon him target himself banish it and then the effect resolves and they take a thousand damage uh, I'm running one tongue twister don't know how I feel about it, but I have it, and it's cost me $20, so I'm playing it. Uh, it works great because you can tribute, again, the Heretic for it, Special Summon, the Labradite, and then uh, sync up with it into Zulkin. And when it leaves the field, you get to draw two, so it's a great draw engine, but it can be pretty dead, and you don't tend to see it until the top deck when you are hoping for something else. So, mixed feelings on it. Play it or don't, up to you. Might be better just to replace it with a third Caius. Again, I am going to be playing it right now because I spent 20 fucking dollars on it. I am playing one copy of Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon because it's a dragon deck and I don't really feel the need to validate it beyond that. We're playing two Labradite dragons, um, just in case something happens to one. I don't know how, but, you know, vanished or whatever. Uh, yeah, just summon it from the deck or hand or graveyard when you tribute the Heretic and you've got a level 6 tuner, which means with a level 6... Heretic, you can easily go into Tzolkin, because Tzolkin's summoning requirements are two monsters of the same level, one is a tuner, one is not, as long as they're five or higher. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, one tuner, one non-tuner of the same level. I'm playing one Galaxy Serpent just for easier rank 8, or sorry, level 8 synchro play when I need to, and that's all it is for that. Uh, that makes the monster lineup. For the spells, we're playing Triple Heretic Seal of Complication. Uh, doesn't need to be explained, add a heretic, add the Tefnuit, add the Sue, whatever one you don't have. It is pendulum format, so triple MST in the main, absolutely. Um, blow up the scales just in case, or if they've got a back row, you know, bottomless is a thing, so stop that. Playing triple upstart for that little bit of consistency, nothing like green hole band to keep the deck going, and double lance, because occasionally, you probably saw them, got something like Exploder Wing Dragon, you can get rid of a problem monster by lowering its attack by 800 or just have a thing to set for Tzolkin. So, rounding up the spells, we got one Soul Charge, just bring back something, go into Tzolkin and set another. Easy peasy. Uh, for the trap lineup, I am running double Mirror Force right now. This should be Storming, but Storming's in a different deck, so I'm using Mirror Force right now in this build, but Storming is obviously a great option as well. I'm playing double Fiendish Chain just for negating effects. One Scrap Iron Scarecrow, uh, save an attack with Tzolkin. You can't summon during the battle phase using Tzolkin's effect after this resets itself, but to keep Tzolkin alive after they get rid of one synchro with one attack and attack it with another, it's helped in the time. You know, 
it is what it is. I'm running one Compulse for bouncing things, one Dust Tornado because it lets you set another card after you use it and works as a MST of sorts. I'm running one Malcat just because, again, it is pendulum format and every once in a while I don't have the things I need. I got a monster heavy hand or a spell heavy hand and I can just set this, use Dzulkan's effect, and then blow up their scales when they try to attack Dzulkan. One Torrential for overkill and then double of Solemn and, or sorry, one of Solemn and Grand Horn of Heaven just because, again, pendulum format just need to stop those crazy scale summonings. For my extra deck, I will start it off by saying we are running two Tzulkins, obviously, because Tzulkins is a fantastic card. Uh, like I said earlier, level five and level five or higher tuner and non-tuner of the same level to go into him. When he is on the field and you set a card, you can special summon one level seven or eight dragon type synchro monster from your extra deck. And while you control another synchro monster, your opponent cannot select him as an attack. His attack, his level is always treated as 12, but you can't level eater it, so it doesn't matter because you can't go down, so it can't use level eater. And when there's two of them on board because they're both synchros, they can't be attacked because they form a soft block where they can't attack it. Um, so other than this, it's pretty much all level 7 or 8 dragon type synchros. I'm running one Exploder Wing Dragon just because I've loved this card since I first saw it and got into the game. Not the best one to be running, but I love it so much. When you attack a monster with lower attack, equal or lower attack, you destroy the monster with a card effect and then inflict damage to your opponent equal to its original attack in the graveyard, if I'm not mistaken. So. Um, not as great in the Pendulum era, but for those Cosmo plays or whatever, you can easily do some burn damage, or if they're playing, you know, something that isn't Pendulum, uh, easy burn damage. And with Lance, you can easily get the effect off. Um, I'm actually not 100% if it needs to go to the graveyard on that. Stupid me, didn't look before doing this, but I'm too far in, so it might be required to go send to the graveyard. If not, it's even better. But in general, you might want to replace it with just a second BLs. I just do it because I like it. One Black Rose to bounce when they summon, easy as that. One Michael because he's probably one of the best level 7s, target banish pay 1000. It does mill at the end phase but it's still a fantastic card, 2600 too. One Clear Wing because level 7 dragons exist and Clear Wing's fantastic for when they target any of your other monsters. So that's easy enough as it is, if they target any of our extra deck cards they can't do so for once as long as they don't negate it. I'm playing one Gungnir because again, awesome looking card, I just love it so much, and it helps clear up my hand for when I use Void Ogre. Uh, easy 3000 beat stick, and as long as we've got nothing on board, you can negate one thing once per turn, one thing being one spell or trap. Obviously, BLs is a prime target to go for first turn whenever you've got to Zulkan out and you set something. 3000 indestructible, why the hell not? We are running one Hot Red Dragon Archfiend just to blow up all of their face up attack, just Super Mirror Force. Only it can attack if you do so, but it's still great. One Stardust to protect Mass Destruction, and one Stardust Spark to protect Tzulkin if they decide to attack. If they summon something, two monsters that can get over it, and they get over a Spark and then attack Tzulkin. Before they do that, you can just chain it and make Tzulkin indestructible once, and you're solid. We do run, obviously, a lot of level 6s, so Ptolemy is great, and it's Heretic, so a ton. Just great for getting out Red Eyes for extended combo plays. And then when their materials have nothing, obviously Gaia Charger is the optimal play over a dead rank 6 with no materials. Uh, I was trying Strike Bouncer over Ptolemy. Um, bouncing I found to be a little more helpful in the long run or just getting something back from my graveyard to do something with it. Uh, other good rank 6s include something like uh, Gauntlet Launcher, just multiple destruction on one turn. Up to you. I recommend playing a Tum and then one other rank 6 maybe if you're going to. If not, just play a Tum. Uh, I was trying Grand Dragon Divine Dragon Fell Grand Knight, whatever its name is, just because I have a lot of level 8s and occasionally I'd want to overlay, but I found that just to be never worthwhile in the slightest, so don't recommend that, but go ahead, leave a comment, tell me what you think. The deck's super fun, it's honestly just spamming out level 7 and level 8 Synchro Dragons, and if you're like me, those are my favorite cards, is the Synchros, and Dragons are my favorite type, so I just had to play this deck. Go ahead, leave a comment. I say this too much at the end of the video, but like, comment, subscribe, triple time saying comment, and we'll see you next time on Yago Strats.